So we've talked about what happens if you add water and what happens if you add salt. And now finally, let's talk about what happens if you do both. So here's our starting point. And then we're going to add fluid and salt. And we're actually going to add fluid that has the same concentration of salt as the extracellular fluid. So we're going to bring the fluid up to this level. And we're adding enough solutes so that it has the same concentration as the extracellular fluid. And what happens when you mix two solutions together with equal concentrations is you get another solution with the same concentration. So when we've added this fluid, the concentration of the extracellular fluid does not change. And so you're going to have no shift of water because the concentration inside and outside is still the same. And this kind of fluid that has the same concentration as the extracellular fluid is what we call isotonic. Tonicity, which is where that part comes from, tonicity refers to the concentration of solutes, but specifically the solutes that can't cross this membrane. And iso means same. So isotonic fluid is fluid that has the same concentration of solutes that can't cross this membrane. And so what we've learned here is that if you add isotonic fluid, you get an increase in extracellular volume, and your intracellular volume does not change. And similarly, the concentration of both compartments does not change. So isotonic fluid has the same concentration of salt. But what happens if we add fluid that has a lower concentration? And that is what we would call hypotonic. Hypo means less. And it turns out that this is exactly what we did when we added pure water. Pure water is hypotonic. It's extremely hypotonic. It has no solutes in it. And what happened when we added pure water is we had an increase in the extracellular volume, we had an increase in the intracellular volume, and we had a decrease in the concentration of both compartments. And then what's the third example? The third example is adding hypertonic fluid. So hypertonic fluid has a higher concentration of salt than your extracellular fluid. And this is pretty much the same as just adding salt. Adding salt is like the most extreme example of this. So at, when you add hypertonic fluid, what you get is a increase in the extracellular volume, a decrease in intracellular volume, and an increase in the concentration of both compartments. So you'll notice that every single one of these is going to increase your extracellular volume. And that's because when you add that fluid, it goes straight into the extracellular volume. But let's say you add one liter of this one, one liter of this one, and one liter of this one. Which one is going to increase your extracellular volume most? The answer is the hypertonic fluid. And that's because you're adding a liter of fluid, but you're also adding a bunch of salt. And that salt is going to drag more fluid out of the cells. So basically, you're giving not just the liter, but the liter plus whatever it's going to steal from the cells. And hypotonic is going to give you the least volume, because you're going to put in a liter, but then some of that water is going to go into the cells, so you're really giving a little less than a liter.